Welcome beautiful Paris Saint-Germain family and in today's video I'll be showing you my dream lineup for next season depending also on Lionel Andreas Messi will extend or leave Paris Saint-Germain so obviously as we all know it lo it's looking like ever since March February time that Jose Mourinho was going to become Paris Saint-Germain's new manager and I'm definitely very confident that he will be our new manager for next season and he usually line up lines up with a 3-4 or a 4-3 <clears throat> or a 4-2-3-1 as he did in his previous time at Real Madrid so this is a possibility if Lionel Andres Messi leaves Paris Saint-Germain so we have Gianluigi Donnarumma in goal Hakimi Marquinhos Skriniar and Nuno Mendes backline with Garte and Verratti in the midfield Neymar as the 10 Diaby and Mbappé as the two wingers and Gonzalo Ramos or Kulumwani as the striker and the bench for this lineup would also be a great bench we got Rico in goal to Dibu Danilo center backs Nhaga and Mukiele as the wing backs Turam and Vitinha in the pivot Xavi on the left Dybala in the center Bakayoko on the right and Turam up top obviously Xavi can also play a bit centrally Trump can also play in that left wing, left forward position with Kylian Mbappé plays. So there are a lot of different stuff Jose Mourinho could do with this bar. If Lionel Messi extends, obviously we need to be playing the 3-4-3 with dual 10s. As he's also playing with Aceroma this season with Pellegrini and Dybala as the number 10s. Then I got Donnarumma in goal, Marquinhos, Skriniar, Todibu, centre-back partnership, Nuno and Hakimi on the wings, Ugarte and Verratti pivot yeah, again, and Leo Neymar, number 10, dual number 10s, and Kylian Mbappé as the number Number nine, and also this is the substitute lineup with that lineup: Rico in goal, Danilo Pereira, Ramos, Epresco, center backs, Nahagan, Mukiel as the wing backs, Vitinha, Turam in the pivot, Xavi, Dybala as the dual number tens, and Turam up top. I believe that these two. If this is our lineup for next season, we're gonna cook because you got Skriniar instead of Ramos. That's an upgrade to Dibu instead of Danilo or Kimpembe. That's an upgrade. Ugarte with Verratti that's beautiful because that means Ugarte will be doing a lot of that dirty work whilst Verratti can link up a, a bit more with Messi and Neymar and obviously Kylian Mbappé up top so the big changes from this season to now is that we will have an amazing manager Jose Mourinho who can get the best out of the players and motivate them from every game and Ugarte instead of Vitinha Vitinha offers a lot of stuff but Ugarte offers that with a lot of more and his defensive attributes are so much better and as I said Skriniar and Tudibu they are definitive upgrades on the Sergio Ramos the old Sergio Ramos and obviously Danilo playing out of position and Kim Pembe who is very mid and the other lineup we got Ugarte, Verratti, Pivot again, Marquinhos and Screener, obviously Ramos, I believe he cannot play in the two-man at the back, and same goes for Kimpembe, we got Neymar as the 10, Diabe on the right, so a right-sided player, and Gonzalo Ramos or Kulumwane up top, I believe that both of the lineups are amazing, they have every strength that a lineup needs to have, and under Jose Mourinho, we'll be, we will become a very direct team which means that when we do attacks it's not going to be a lot of passing and all of that we're going to be very direct very counter-attacking and when you got explosive players like here Mbappe, Diaby, Hakimi, Nuno and uh, Kulumani or someone up top with the playmaking of a Neymar Jr that is very direct and very beautiful and then you got an Ugarte a beast so if a counter-attack happens we can rely on him and in, in the other lineup again very aggressive centre-back in Marquinhos, Skriniar and Todibu Ugarte as that pivot. Hakimi and Nunu can be making those runs. Messi and Neymar and Ugarte and Verratti just controlling that midfield and Kylian Mbappe being on the left, being on the right, being in the center, being everywhere. Just so hard to predict and so hard to defend against. And as I said, the bench plays like Xavi Simons, plays like Dybala, Turam, so clear of Soler, Sarabi and Ektike of what we had this season. A Turam and Vitinha and even a Warren Zaira Emery competing for those midfield options and maybe they can even become a starter if they play really well and then the defense and I believe Nhaga I, is someone I can trust obviously I would want to see him a bit more this season with the professional team but apart from that I think that everything is looking good and then instead of Diaby you got Bakayoko as the backup right winger and he has been really fantastic for PSV this season both him and Xavi Simon so let me know in the comments down below 
Do you think, first of all, that Lionel Messi will extend at Paris Saint-Germain? And second of all, what do you think about these two lineups, the 3-4-3 lineup and the 4-2-3-1? And which one do you guys prefer? That was it. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the PGN YouTube channel. And as always, allez, 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 bye.